What's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Deutsche Bahn Class 423. Now this is an EMU that serves on the S-Bahn in Germany, and this is commissioned by a Croatian train driver. Uh, this is actually his second commission, so thanks to him for supporting the channel. Uh, if you want to do a commission, you can just check out my self I page, a link in the description. And yeah, let's get started on this build. So first off, we're going to begin with this first car. We're going to take uh, Cyan uh, Terracotta, I believe, right? And two blocks above the tracks. And uh, then we're going to make it three blocks wide. And 30, yeah, 30 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And let's do the rest. Just fill it in. I may have to extend this a little bit more. You know, just to be more accurate. And I'm going to extend it all the way back. And once we reach 30 blocks, oh, it's actually pretty, it's actually on point. <laughs> Which is surprising. Alright, and then we're going to take uh, black wool. Just add three blocks in the front like that. And one block in the middle in front of that. And then we're going to have a coupling that sticks out. Which is made of a nether brick slab like this. Then we're going to take uh, upside down quartz stairs. Just add it on e either side of the black wool. <clears throat> then we're going to take um, stone brick stairs. Just have one uh facing the front like this and then we're going to have five more uh, facing the sides like this so one two three four five and then have one that curves this way like that and let's repeat the same thing on the other side so one two three four five and then curve it this way and the reason why we curve it is because this thing kind of pops out so that's going to be four blocks of terracotta so one two three four same thing on the other side one two three four and then have a curve like this with the stone brick stairs and we're gonna go all the way back to the back of the car all right and then do the other side uh, when he commissioned it he actually showed me a picture of a blue uh, blue version of this train, but I couldn't really find any images on it, so that's why I had to make it red. It was like some special edition of this class uh, 423. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna add um, stone brick slab to the bottom. Go down here, place it right underneath this uh, black wool like that, and also we need the wheel. So let's get our hopper out. And we're going to skip this block here, place a hopper both sides above the tracks, and then three stone brick slabs in between, like this. And then there's going to be another pair of hoppers on the other end, like this. Go to the end of the car, and this is actually a Jacob's uh, bogey, I believe that's what it's called. So to make that, we're going to skip one here, and then place hopper on this side, like that. And then three slabs again. Same thing on the other side, so one, two, three, and um, the hopper right there. I have to like crouch down to place it right. So this is the Jacobs uh, bogey, so it connects to the other cars. And this is a four car train set, by the way. All right, so after we do that, let's take uh, red concrete, and we're gonna make this section. It's gonna end right here, so right at this first terracotta that sticks out like that. Go all the way back to the front. Same thing on the other side. And, and then we're going to add um, this white wool in the front right here for the DB, the Deutsche Bahn. And red concrete on either side of that. And then we're going to take uh, red concrete again and go diagonally here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. And then we're going to go add one right here and then skip a block, add another one there. And I think I made it so like both sides are the same thing. Well, at least in this body part. I know this; these vents are not the same. 
All right, so after we do that, let's take out uh, stone bricks uh, slabs, add three in the front like that. And let's take out a uh, stone button, just add the lights right there. And then we're gonna take out a uh, black stained glass block for the windows. So the windshield is just a two by three like this. Then add a window right here. And two block wide window down here as well. And let's surround this uh, two block wide window with red concrete like so. And then <laughs> we're gonna skip two blocks and add three block tall wall like this. And you see like this pattern kind of repeats itself. Uh, it's just like these double doors and two windows, double doors, two windows. And the last one is just one window at the back. So we're gonna have to try to do that. So how do we do it? So I guess we'll just make the window holes first. So try to make this shape, uh, two, two block wide windows like that and pillars in between. And skip two for the other door and it's a double door then do the same thing right here two more windows double door and then one window in the back so it looks like this and let's add a top layer like that and above the doors there's going to be uh, quartz instead so add the quartz right above the doorways like this And let's do the same thing on the other side, just match it up. Shouldn't be that hard to do. Then the other one. And then the last pair. And let's add the quartz above the doors again. <clears throat> and then perhaps we can add the windows. All right, so let's take out black stained glass block. Just fill in all these little windows on the sides. Down here as well. All right, and then we're gonna take out our uh, acacia wood stairs. Just add one to the sides like this and another one like that. So that faces the front and this one faces the side. And this uh, acacia wood stairs, it just goes along the whole uh, carriage. So let's just extend that to the back of it, like so. I mean, it is going to take a little bit while to do, since I have to do like the same thing for the second car. That is different, even though they're really, really similar, though. So once we do that, we can add um, this cyan terracotta right here to the sides of the roof. And the middle part, it's going to be a double stone slab like this. Then the front of that, nether bricks uh, slabs like this, three blocks across. And above this uh, stone slab, we're going to add a gray carpet to cover up that light. And then we're going to add uh, cyan terracotta throughout the whole entire roof so let's go just filling it in and no this does not have an interior like a lot of my other trains it's been a while since I actually built the German train we built like the steam engine and like the <laughs> the ice 3 all right, so after we do that, we're gonna take stone brick stairs, I mean slabs, just add three blocks right here, skip a block, add another one right there, and then we're gonna make this uh, vent on top. So uh, it's gonna be asymmetrical, this side's gonna have vents, this side's gonna be like plain and smooth. So to make it, we're gonna take out our polished andesite, a bedrock, light gray carpet, uh, and a light gray banner, I believe. And it's going to be seven blocks long. So on this side, it's just going to be completely polished and set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this side's a little bit different. It's like four and two. So one, two, three, four. Skip a block to fill in the rest with polished and a site. Then we're going to fill in the top part. 
with light gray carpet like so. And then light gray uh, banner on the sides of these uh, bedrocks. We don't want to show that part out. And then let's add a connection. Actually, we'll do that later when we make the other car. So we're going to add an iron door in all the doors that we have here. There actually is a door in the front, but we can't really... I didn't really want to make it since the door we have for Minecraft, it's going to be looking like a jail cell door. <laughs> a jail cell door. I don't know why I just said jail cell door. <laughs> so this is actually a door, but you can't really make it a door, okay? We don't have a red door. That looks good. Alright, so uh, let's add some more detail to the bottom. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to go align it with, uh, you see, this last door right in front of it, just right in front of it. We're going to add a 2 by 3 in the middle. So here, iron door, in front of it, 2 by 3 in the middle with uh, stone slabs. And then we're going to skip two blocks and add the same thing right there. And then we're going to go to the front and skip a block away from the hopper. Place three in the middle right there and connect it to the other side. You just want to connect these two points together. And I'm not going to do the middle part since you can't really see it right now. Unless you're going to be like in a workshop, you're not going to see the bottom of the train. So you're only going to see the sides and the back and the front. Alright, so uh, after we do that, um, yeah, I think that's that probably is it for the first car now let's actually work on the second car so the second car is a lot like the front car except we don't have like this head thing so let's do this again oh uh, we're gonna actually make a gangway right now we're gonna take <clears throat> light gray uh carpet just add this doorway like this it's gonna go all the way up here to that uh, red concrete block and then we're going to cap it off with uh, stone slabs like this. And let's start to make the other car. So the other car, it's uh, 28 blocks long. So let's start off with the cyan, three blocks wide. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, good. It matches. Now let's uh, fill this all in to the other side. Then this side, just filling it in. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna take uh, stone brick stairs, just line that up on the sides like this. Then the other side. Alright, and then we're going to add these uh, red <clears throat> window blocks. So we're going to take red concrete. We're going to have a single window in the front, two blocks wide. Like that, we're just making this little cube thing. Well, not really a cube, like a square, a rectangle. <laughs> Let's skip two blocks for that door and make two two block wide windows right here, just like the front part. Just in case anyone's confused what to do. I'm going to have another two block wide window and another one right here and then skip two blocks for that door and the last window at the very back now let's add quartz above all the window I mean all the doors like this since we're using uh, white doors then we're going to add the same thing on the other side it's going to take a while hot even though it's uh, fall <laughs> it's still sunny all right so 
Uh, let's add the quartz right above all the doors now. And you know what? Let's add the doors right now since I have it in my inventory. So, just add the double doors. And why? Oh, it's just the shaders. This looks like sand for some reason when I was placing it. That was weird. I was like, how did I put sandstone in there? Alright, and then we're gonna add the door. I mean, the windows. You know, it's easy. And there is a third car to this, and it's a little bit different from this car, but it's pretty much the same. Just like the bottom I changed, and it also doesn't have a pantograph like this one. So I don't know if you really care about what it looks like on the bottom, but I guess I'll show you that just in case you want to make it really perfect. Alright, so then we're going to add acacia wood stairs on the sides like this. <laughs> Uh, try to do this really fast, but when you do it fast, you make a lot of mistakes. Oh my god, that alright, I'm gonna slow down. I remember some of my older tutorials, um, they were like I was going too fast, but I'm not sure if I was or that's just because the audio wasn't synced properly, which I think was a factor. All right, so then we're gonna add uh, this is cyan terracotta on the roof like this, going all the way back, going all the way back to the back. And I have a lot of tutorials to do today too, cause I can't really make videos during the week I have school. All right. So once we do that, let's add the same, um, <laughs> the vent, but we're going to move it a little bit closer to the middle, as you can see. Um, we're going to take out all our materials for the vent, polished andesite, uh, bedrock, we got that, light gray carpet, light gray banner, and uh, we're going to align it with this uh, middle door right here. And then we're going to go two blocks to the left of it, so right here, and start off making seven polished andesite. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then um, the bedrocks. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my nose. And then four bedrocks. So one, two, three, four. Skip a block, two bedrocks. Like that. Fill in the rest, polish andesite. Fill in the top part with uh, light gray carpet. And the sides with light gray um, banners. Okay, so then we're going to add this little connection with a lever like this. Making sure the electricity flows between the EMUs. And uh, there is going to be a pantograph right here. So to make the pantograph, what I did was, um, I'm not even sure if like, this is the correct height. But we're going to go uh, go with it. Uh, stone brick slabs like this and go diagonally. This one's two blocks long like that. And then we go diagonally again. Then we're going to boomerang back the other direction. Like that. And then add another one to that. And then the last one on top right here. Then on the sides of that, upside down stone brick uh, stairs. Which is... That's just how I do my pantographs all the time now. It's become my style. Even though it may be too fat though in the future. But for now, it's pretty good. Alright, so uh, let's actually make the bottom part now. So we're going to add another Jacob's uh, bogey. So skip one right here. Add a hopper to both sides. And then three slabs like this. Three slabs on the other side. And then a hopper. And this hopper will be directly below the end of the next car. And also we need to add some little details on the bottom part. So for this one, uh, we're going to have like this two block uh, wide uh, what is this, stone slab right here. And that's got a line with right after the first door. So right here, three blocks, yep. 
and then the next one it's gonna go um, right after the middle door and uh, right underneath this door right here <clears throat> so the first half of the back door so if you got that all in your brain let's do that all right good same thing on the other side All right, so um, yeah, that's basically it for the second car. Now to make the third car, it's pretty much exactly the same thing, I think, but you just flip it the other direction. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you just do. But this one does not have a pantograph like this one, and we also have um, a lever in place where the pantograph was gonna be. And the bottom is a little bit uh, different from the other ones, so just in case you want to see what it is, uh, this is what it looks like. So you can see this iron door right here, and then three slabs, skip a block, three slabs, skip a block, two slabs, skip a three blocks, two slabs, like that. And that's basically it on how to make the Deutsche Bahn Class 423. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks again to the Croatian train driver who commissioned this build. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you had already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.